Next deputant is Doug Shaw. Again, you have five minutes and I'd ask you to keep your remarks to the 2024 budget. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, Council, and members of the public. I'm a farmer in the area, and I'm very concerned about what's going on right now. I saw this go in Markham, and I've talked to this council and to the staff many times. I was a general contractor in Markham as well, as well as farmed. And I saw what the development did to Markham. Markham and Stouffville and area only had one hospital. That hospital was challenged. Okay, and the developers, Roman Homes, Flower Developments, a number of very large developers never put one dime into infrastructure and never put one dime into the hospital. That is happening here. We have a huge infrastructure that needs repair. We have no sewage treatment plants for future development. Our roads are 10 to 15 years behind in repair. And here we dare to move forward with development. On the basis that we're going to make $300 million from Mr. Ford, dangling a carrot in front of us with the Strong Mayor's Act. Now, I fail to see the challenge, okay, that anybody could put together to see how this puzzle is going to fit. I'm a businessman. I'm a farmer. I put seed in the ground with help, okay, with other people. We all work together and we see as a, as a, a, a person that is a, a, uh, a businessman, I don't see that this works. We have a huge area, 3,400 square miles of infrastructure and one hospital. That one hospital is Ross Memorial Hospital. Now you're asking for a development that far challenges that hospital. I've gone in to have INR done on a blood test and waited 12 hours. That's not acceptable. That's not acceptable. Okay, our doctors are not here. And I, I asked this council to reconsider moving forward on development because I've seen the devastation of how a municipality is challenged. People are on fixed incomes. People come here, okay, because they, they want an easier life. They don't want this hustle bustle where there's gridlock. They don't want all these apartment buildings like what there is in Stouffville now from Flato Developments. Flato Developments ruined Stouffville. And guess what? He didn't put one dime into the hospital. Farmers are important. Okay, in the future, and I'm telling you this, and it's a fact, 319 hectare or acres disappear every day in development in Ontario. Those numbers go to 116,435 acres per year of choice farmland disappear in Ontario. That's food sources for our future. 
Now you add that up to 10 years, there's 1,164,350 acres of choice farmland destroyed for our future with absolutely no thought ahead. We have a bridge in Fenland, okay, that needs repair. Now we did a study on that, supposedly. Bill and I did a study on it. We sat with a coffee and a lawn chair for about 15 minutes. And you know what? We figured it all out. There's too much, it's too busy. Okay, and you're gonna put try and put eight hundred houses in. Get there? you to wrap up, please. Anyway, I'm gonna i I'm gonna say one thing. And one thing only in the future. Have you eaten today? Every farm matters. Thank you. Any questions for the deputant? See none. I got a motion to receive the deputation. Councillor McDonald, Councillor Ashmore. All in favor? Thank you, and that's done.